to the Maya the Beauty YouTube channel. I'm still having like super, super issues saying Maya the Beauty. I don't know like what my deal is. Um, I can't get past J Bella Beauty. Maybe J Bella Beauty will just always be something that's a part of my channel or a phase in my life. I don't know, but anyway, child. What we're here for today is actually gonna be a fragrance guide. <laughs> I don't necessarily think I'm a fragrance connoisseur or anything like that. I just really like to smell good. So I'm gonna bring you guys like my favorite perfumes. And I think that this is the perfect time to introduce this video to you guys because by the time that you guys see this video, it'll be right around the corner for Valentine's Day. So if you are trying to figure out what to get somebody for Valentine's Day, I don't care what's going on. Buying somebody a perfume, especially like a girlfriend, is such a good gift to me, especially when you, you know, buy a upscale perfume. I like that. So I will try my hardest to link these perfumes below because to be honest, guys, I don't think I've purchased any of my own perfumes. We have to give like a big props to my dad. Literally every Christmas, you guys, like every Christmas, probably since I was in high school, my dad has always bought me and my sisters and my mom a really nice perfume. And I feel like every year he's always like upgraded our perfume. And mine have always lasted me for so long because I felt like I just wasn't utilizing them at first. I would just kind of keep them because they said they look so pretty until, um, I think like I started working and I would spray them and then people would compliment me on the smell. That's when I started wearing them. My perfume collection is courtesy of my dad. <laughs> Can you see her? Is this one, it is the Juicy Couture. So this one is a little bit more woody to me. It's definitely a little bit more strong. I tend to like more sweet scents. I don't wanna hear that. But because this one is a little bit more affordable and um, I just feel like this one is a little bit more every day it's easier for you to replace once you run out of it but yeah this is such a good scent especially if you're trying to like start your perfume collection i will start with the juicy couture scent this one is like an og i get a compliment every single time i wear this perfume and it is this burberry perfume right here um, I sold this so many times when I was working at Ulta. I swore by it. Clearly you can see how much is left in the bottle. A little bit goes a long way with this perfume. I love this. So this one definitely has like a sweeter scent to it. Like I told you guys, I favor more sweet scents. Um, this has a very, very sweet, sweet scent to it, but it's very, very strong. And Hit people like people will smell you girl if you walk past them so this is one of like my favorite favorite scents for every single day another great gift out of the luxury perfume collection for me is going to be this one this is the flower bomb perfume by Victor Wolf yes this is the flower bomb by Victor Wolf I'm gonna try my hardest to find out where my dad got this from for me. Obviously, it is a very like flowery scent to me. And then the package is kind of cute because if you pay attention, it looks like a bomb. It's very, very um, floral, but it's a lot stronger than the Burberry one. Um, they smell a lot, they smell very similar to me, but it's really, really floral. But this one is just so fancy to me i'm um, like i said my like really really expensive ones i try not to wear them this ain't the oscars is it i'm used to something a little bit different but let's go we bring our own drinks up in places like this as much because i want to like savor them i don't want to have to purchase them but girl this one smells so good i have like wiped these bottles off next on my list is definitely 
the Tiffany collection perfume. This perfume, clearly, as you can see, I do not use it a lot. A little bit definitely goes a long way. Yeah, this one goes more with like a musky scent to me, if anything, which is- I don't like that. It's really, really not my style. Um, but for whatever reason, Tiffany, they seem to kind of like get it right with this fragrance. Then on top of that, like, I'm such a sucker for frame for uh, packaging. I'm a huge sucker for packaging. So because this bottle um, just is as pretty and cute as it is, I just loved it. This is probably like my second favorite perfume now. Um, it is a very, show you it looks like this. It's a very, very strong, strong, sweet scent um it's almost going into like a woodsy scent to me for women but this perfume is so pretty and i'll take the refill out so you guys can see what it looks like but this is what the refill looks like and currently i was using it and i have like two more yeah i have two more left um this one is so 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 nice because um, I didn't think I was gonna like it at first. It doesn't smell really good if like you try to smell it, but if you put it on your body and let it sit, um, it really, really does, becomes an attractive scent to me. Because at first I was like, eh, but then when I put it on myself and I smelled it, I was like, oh, this smells really good. The last thing in this video is literally me and all my sisters and my mom's favorite scent that my dad has ever purchased for us. This is the Baccarat. I feel like over the past couple of um, months that this scent just became a little bit more popular. I had this, nobody knew what it was, but this scent is the sweetest. If you are very into like sweet scents like I am, this is the one that you want. And I have had this fragrance since October of 2019. This is when I got it for my birthday and I have the, um, the lotion perfume that goes with it. And you literally can see like how much, and I've used this quite often, literally spray it here, spray it here, pat it on my neck and um, behind my calves, behind the knee. And not only will everybody smell you, but it literally lingers in the room when you walk away. And it, I feel like the smell, honestly, it stays on your clothes for such a long amount of time. Like it lingers. I've literally been told like I will walk away from someone and somebody will approach me and be like, oh my God, what did you have on? It was this. The only con about this, and it's not really a con, it's more of just a, a beware. Um, this is technically a scented body oil, but it's a spray. Do not ever spray this directly on your clothes if you decide to get this. I made that mistake and literally it will leave like a, a, a oil stain on your clothes, which is not cute. Like I said, you spray it on your wrist and pat it and then spray on your neck, behind your knee, and then mist your hair and that's it. You can even kind of see like if you shake it up, it's really, really oily. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but look at like the inside of the bottle, it's even decorated. That's really cool. Alright guys, that is it. I hope that you really, really enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't realize how much I liked perfumes until really, really recently. And I also didn't realize how much people wanted or needed this video for me until really, really recently. So I hope that you guys treat yourself to a really nice perfume. Or I hope that somebody, you know, takes a hint from you, watches this video, and goes and gets one of the perfumes that I have recommended because like I said these are my favorite fragrances they will always be on my vanity they will be with me for life as long as they make them so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you like comment subscribe share this video comment and let me know what you guys want to see next if you want a part two because I have way more perfume that I could have shown these are just my ones that I grabbed the most for but yeah as always thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video.